this episode of Chad Chow is brought to you by Bander and Napoleon. Stay tuned after the episode to learn how to make Mbeya's own whiskey sour. In today's episode of Chat Chow, we're sitting down with David Flom, one of the managing partners at Chicago Cut in the heart of River North. The steakhouse is known for excellent service and frequent celebrity sightings, but the food is the real star. Thank you so much, David, for sitting down with us today. Thank you. Um, before we get started, could you tell us what we're drinking? So this is from Argentina, Mendoza specifically. This is Vino Cobos is the name of the winery, and it's a Malba. All right, well, cheers to cheers that. Cheers to you. That's really good. It is my favorite red wine, by the way, and the favorite, my favorite here as well. Um, so could you tell us a little bit about your background? I know you're kind of a veteran in the restaurant industry, um, came from Rosebud, right? Correct. So how did you start out? I've always wanted to be in the restaurant business since I was about 10 years old and would cook for my parents' friends when they would come over to the house and through my younger years. And um, I then started cooking at the age of 14 and uh, worked at great restaurants in Chicago, including Gabriel's. Um, then I worked at Rosebud and then I went on to manage a company called Michael Mino, which is in Las Vegas in San Francisco. Uh, came back to Rosebud in Chicago and then one day decided it was time for me to do my own thing, so here we are today. So we, we chose kind of our three favorite things for you to try today. The restaurant's called Chicago Cut uh, because Mayor Daly and I sat together one day and he said, I'd love to have the word Chicago in the name of your restaurant. So I said my favorite steak is a Chicago cut bone and ribeye, so we're gonna try that for today. Our signature potato dish is a scalloped potato that has uh, white truffle oil which is served with it. And lastly, cream spinach, something that's very simplistic in nature, but if done right with fresh organic spinach, mixed with the Parmesan cheese and the cream and the whole thing like can just be a heavenly compliment to steak. Well, it looks like the perfect meal, one of my favorite meals. Let's try it. So we try to caramelize our, the outside of our steak. Some steakhouses choose to char them and we find that the caramelization is really where the best flavor peaks. Um, and so the other thing that you should be tasting is the dry aging. So we dry age 35 to 40 days our ribeyes. It creates kind of an earthy tone to the steak. Um, when you ask European chefs, that's where it started in the 1600s was dry aging. And the concept is simply just to evaporate the water out of the meat so the meat gets thicker and because there's less water, then the flavors are intensified. Yeah, you get that real meaty. So you'll get a really steak. meaty flavor when you eat dry aged steak, and it's something that we love and adore. Um, it's rarely seen in Chicago, so um, something that we really wanted to bring to the forefront. It's really nice. Um, I may just try this more than once, actually. Beautiful. <laughs> now, I noticed that your servers um, plated our sides for us, right. and that's how you do it every time, right? Correct. So. You know, one thing I thought was missing in steakhouses was the touch of service. And so we really wanted to elevate our service. So all of our sides, all of our appetizers and desserts are split for the guest and served for them. Well, this is a perfect meal. Let's maybe finish this up. But thank you again for taking the time. Thank you. Let's so cheers much. to a delicious steak meal at Chicago Cut. My name is Danielle, and I'm the beverage director here at Embea. Today we're making a uh, whiskey sour in Bea style. And we're also working with Mandarin Napoleon. This is an orange liqueur. Uh, they distill a high proof alcohol with, uh, with Mandarin orange, which is actually a, a Chinese uh, citrus. And, um, and then once it's finished, they add cognac to it. So it's got a mm. lot of spice to it, some depth, some caramel, a little bit of vanilla. We're gonna start with an egg white. And once you have your egg white, you can start building your flavors. So we're gonna add a little bit of sweetness. So I've got a little turbinado sugar here. I'll come in with rye. We need a little bit of spice here. And then the citrus today we're using is, um, is a mandarin quat. So I've juiced a lot here, and we're gonna give it a good ounce. We've got some house-made bitters. You wanna do a dry beat first. You want it to clean, then you wanna add your ice next. Wrap it up. Protect your guests. Give it a good shake. So you'll see a little bit of froth, and what happens is once your cocktail sits when you have a, 
an egg white, you'll see a really beautiful sort of distinct uh, layering effect. And there you go for all thirsty patrons. Cheers.